Here we have the Nikon D3S and I'm going to show you what's called the Aperture Dance. Notice that the camera is set to f8. That's the exposure I want to use. Maybe I even want to use f16. It doesn't mean I want to focus at f16 and that's the problem. Here we are at f16. I don't want to focus on that. Much light, a lot of lighting. I couldn't even do it. Um, and This is reasonably bright lighting. So I'm going to have to open it all the way up to f2 to focus and you can't see which aperture we're at. Doesn't matter if I press the info button or not. It won't show us, so I gotta zoom back out. Oh yeah, there I am at F2. Alright, so uh, let's go back in. We're at F2. Uh, focus at our desired, desired spot, wherever that is. Maybe right there. Alright, we wanna shoot at F8 though, so I'm gonna, can't tell which aperture I'm at. Turning the dial, I can hear it. So I'm gonna have to zoom back out and Make sure it's at F8. Now using the mirror, remote release, mirror up, exposure, and we're done. Now we're at F8 again. If we want to repeat this and we need to refocus, we'll have to go all the way back to F2 again, then zoom in and repeat the process. So this is still a big improvement over the D3X, which doesn't work with uh, mirror lockup mode. The D3S has this dedicated live view button that helps a lot, but it doesn't solve the aperture dance problem where you're forced to constantly switch between apertures. And that matters on a lot of subjects, especially when it's getting dark, not to mention focus accuracy.